Hello, this is a gear selector lever mechanism. This is for automatic cars, because as you can see, the lever can move backwards and forwards only, and then there's a slot for your uh, manual selection. Um, <clears throat> so this is from a 7P Turing specifically, and uh, today we'll be showing you a closer look um, at how this thing is put together and what's happening on the inside of it. You see here, this top bit, that's where the gear selector knob will go. And inside the knob, it's got a hook that goes in there. And when you press the button, it will lift this up, which will then make it possible for you to move the selector. And there you go there and you can go plus, minus and so on. And when your car's in park, um, so as people who have had gearbox problems might have noticed um, that your car will not um, come out of park. And the question is, how do you get it out of park if you need to tow your car or something like that? So on most of them, they're not all the same, but like on this one, you've got this yellow <coughs> lever on the side. So you'll push this down and then you pull that up and then it will move. Where if you don't push that down and it's in park, you can pull this up and it won't move. Okay, so here we've taken it apart. This is the one side of the casing. This is the other side. Um, and then this goes in there um, and this at the bottom and you'll be able to see there's a bit of white grease in here just to keep everything moving smoothly and um, yeah so how this works is uh, the cable that goes to your gearbox uh, comes in through here and then it hooks in this little hole there and um, when you move your selector backwards and forwards then the cable moves backwards and forwards. So on this gear selector arm, then you'll see you've got this section that'll move up and down as you move the top section up and down. And that's where your gear selector knob goes, of course. And then so every time you press the button, it'll lift it and you release it, it lowers it. And that stays over here. And right there, there's a little micro switch. And when this is in park, um, when this is in park, this will clamp down onto this micro switch and the car will then know it's in park. <laughs> and then from there, on your cluster, it'll show you a little sign to show that you must press the brake in order to move your selector lever. So when you press the brake, then the lock solenoid will release. Um, as we've seen, that does that. And also at the bottom, this little piece that goes at the bottom, you'll be able to see it's got these little indents there because this slots into them and that will give you that feeling of it's actually selected into a specific position when it's in place. Um, and then also this little circuit board, that's your position sensor. Um, so that's how the car knows whether the selector is in park or reverse neutral and so on. And this ear will then drop back down like that onto the switch and that will then engage this lock solenoid which will then lock the car in park which is then when you like we showed you earlier you'll press this lever down in order to release this lock solenoid you can actually see when you press it down you'll see how that solenoid moves so um, it's not too complicated a mechanism that moves backwards and forwards but it's always very inter interesting to see how everything works and also now you see what actually happens on the inside when you just pull this up so essentially when you push the button on your gear selector knob um, and i think that is just about everything i've got to teach you guys on this there isn't much more to say but um, just notes to take care don't spill anything on it because it is a very expensive component to replace.